Every family has accepted lore about its past, where grandpa and grandma came from, perhaps, or sweet stories about ancestors in the old country. Well, the current rage for DNA testing is revealing more than just genetic makeup. It is revealing an interesting American propensity to embellish or just plain lie about ancestry. Joining us to discuss is WSJ reporter Cameron McWhorter. Hi, Cameron. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks. Glad to be here. So, Cameron, with a name like yours, I'm guessing you must be Scottish, right? That was my guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was my guess for uh, the for my entire life till about uh, six months ago. So, so tell us about uh, your recent discoveries. Yes. So, well, uh, my parents passed away last year, and because of uh, uh, I had to do some estate stuff. Uh, my wife suggested we get on one of these genealogical services. I chose Ancestry.com, which is one of the larger ones, and um, began puttering around and quickly became obsessed with uh, uh, my genealogy and questions that uh, I didn't have answers for, um, particularly uh, uh, my parents. My father had was considered himself Scottish blue and through and through his whole life, um, and uh, I learned quickly that he wasn't. <laughs> what, what, uh, what was there? What did you learn? Well, uh, you ne now everybody in America can do these DNA tests. There's various services that offer them, and they're very inexpensive. And uh, so I sent off my saliva and about 100 bucks uh, to uh, have it tested, and it came back. And a ancestor that I thought was, that I was always told was German, was in fact Jewish German, mm. and uh, my ancestors, who I always thought were Scottish, were in fact from Northern Ireland. So, um, and DNA is becoming incredibly uh, precise in what the you know these tests are very precise, mm -hmm. and uh, lots of people, uh, average people like me, are learning that the stories that their immigrants, you know, immigrant ancestors told them. Uh, isn't necessarily true. Right. So these tests are incredibly popular now, and they're starting to reveal a lot about the U.S. immigration experience, but particularly at the port of entry, correct? What are you finding about that moment? Well, certainly, you know, we all know the stories of, um, for example, Jewish people with complicated names being given new names at Ellis Island. Um, but what we're finding also is that uh, through DNA and other uh, uh, gene all these vast genealogical databases that people are setting up, uh, you know, you can really check census records. So I was able to track, for example, that my my, my Nor Irish ancestor told the truth when he was talking to census takers in Scotland, but when he ended up in America, he lied and said he was born in Scotland because it was easier to be Scottish than to be Irish. So and it was certainly easier to be non-Jewish than Jewish uh, at a certain point in American history. So. A lot of people just changed their story. Um, the, a woman at Amazon, I mean, at Ancestry.com was telling me that the number one reason people take the DNA test is because they've heard lore, which was in my family as well, that one of their ancestors was a Native American. Almost always, it's not true. <laughs> it's, they're, it's, they're, they're, but people, because they had darker skin and maybe they were from the Mediterranean, uh, it, it morphs into Native American, which sounds... I don't exotic, know, or romantic, or something. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I'm curious. Given that human populations have migrated for centuries, how can these DNA tests tell us with such certainty where we are from geographically? It's it's the science behind all this is amazing and getting more and more precise every day. Wow. Uh, but they can track through through genetic. They can map your entire genetic code and they can provide it to you and they can even there are further tests. You know, you can spend a, a little bit of money or a lot of money, and it will tell you uh, how, where, not only where your genetic code comes from, but how long ago it came there. So uh, they were able to trace. It's pretty precise. I mean, they were able to show what region of Europe a lot of my ancestors came from. Um, they were able to show that there was absolutely no Native American <laughs> uh, genetic code in me whatsoever. Um, and um, they're really able to track it. It's fascinating, especially when you consider the fact that there is so much family lore that is accepted as fact, but also we look back a couple generations and there was also prejudice in a lot of families towards other groups, and now it's revealing that, hey, those including groups are part of my us. own, yes, yeah, <laughs> no, including my own. I mean, my, uh, my father, uh, the idea that my father, who hated Notre Dame, 
uh, is Irish. I mean, I wish I could tell him <laughs> that you're Irish. Uh, and, you know, I mean, yeah, there was a lot of this was prejudice. I think that uh, uh, certainly people, there are, there are many heroic stories about American immigrants, and we all know them, and they're an important part of American history, where immigrants came over who were Jewish or Irish, or and they had to, uh, Italian, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and they had to um, defend their culture. Right. But there are also a lot of people who came over and decided, if I don't, maybe if I switch a little bit here, then I won't have to deal with that prejudice. Right. Well, we know Americans love re reinvention, and a lot of it started at Ellis Island. But I have to say, I'm so tempted to get one of these DNA tests done for all the reasons you've mentioned. But am I crazy to worry a little bit about security? Because to be honest, if someone else out there has an exact copy of my DNA, even if it's at a lab somewhere, that worries me a little bit. Is that silly? Um, I think... I think uh, there are concerns that people have raised about that. I, I, I mean, if somebody wants my spit, they can have it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't get. I didn't worry about it that much. Right. But I think that is something that some that the companies have addressed right. uh, at length uh, because they know people are concerned about it. All right, Cameron. Fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you.